where I want to go is still not in sight. Good morning everyone. Today I start my hike from Namche Bazaar to Chengboche. Beautiful Namche Bazaar I leave behind and I'll hike towards Chengboche. I expect to be there after four hours of hike. On this altitude you will not find any mules because mules cannot perform at this altitude. They will not survive. What you find here is a beautiful yox. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful these animals look. Oh my god. There are so many of these. <laughs> Please don't fall from here. These are my friends that I've met uh, before uh, Namche. It's the third time that I'm coming them across. What a lucky fella I am. <laughs> These tracks, it's very slippery. Hey there, I'm now officially a mountain shepherd. Beautiful yaks. Don't do like that. Oh? They will be scary. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> How do you use this? What? How do you use this against them? Oh, you with rock. Ah, okay. Very interesting for the for throwing a rock. Yeah, okay. Hot dog. Ah, okay. okay. Fair enough. Sorry. I have a whistle here. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> ah. It's really fun doing this. Uh, I almost I've become a mountain shepherd. Pay attention to where I place my feet. You do not want to fall there. Beautiful mountain. Hey! Hey! I just basically passed this chew of yaks. It's very important. You can see, you're behind me. It's very important when you pass them, is make sure that you do not run. Because when you run, they will also run and they carry a lot of luggage on their back and when they run so easier they'll fall off and, uh, So you're basically collecting this to feed the yaks on the way? Uh, yeah. To food for the yak? Yes, okay, yes. very good, beautiful I've decided I'm going to help this guy Yes, yeah. okay <laughs> Oh, so much Oh yeah It's okay oh, oh, so Basically I'm doing my part here, yes, helping yes, the community yes, 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 okay. So this is Please sustainable come. hiking yeah, <laughs> helping okay, okay. my friend good. here. <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah. Okay. Well. Good luck. There we go. Another suspension bridge. I just filled up my water bottle from that thing over there. This may be very easy. It's very difficult this one out there. The rocks are slippery. Now I have to put some water purifiers here. After 30 minutes, we'll be ready for drink. We have hiked 
basically I don't know if you can see the green roofs of the houses there of the lodges from there to here a very steep hike I'm so tired but don't worry I have my sensu beans I have to take one so I can make them to my next checkpoint That was a sense of being I feel fired up One of the local people The Sherpas They taught me how to use the Kaioken So that's what I'm going to use The Kaioken To get to my checkpoint Let's go The Kaioken Kaioken times 10 So steep But I'm in the mood Kaioken times 20 Kaioken times 40 it's not gonna last long. I can feel the energy. That was the Kaioken. I have more sensu beans, but I'm gonna save them, save them for later. Welcome to Tiang Bo Che. We made it. Huh. It's so quiet here. There's so many lodges and restaurants and places where you can sit. The elevation is 3,875 meters. What a beautiful zoo, but it is. I found this find this track so slippery. It's inevitable though. You will slip. But look at that guy. True hero. So many backpacks on his back. Still managed to stay straight. That's called the alt of balance. See if I can manage to stay straight. But you will slide. All you have to make sure is that you slide slowly instead of falling hard on your hips. So let's do this. Such a beautiful track, covered by snow, but this part is luckily it's not so slippery. You can just have a regular walk. Still have to be careful, because if I fall, not only can I break my hip, but also my camera. Or the way around, because my hip is more, more important than my camera. So have to be very careful. Ah, oh, finally. And we arrived. See if I can find any cheap hotel here. Beautiful morning. This is the hike from Tiang Boche to Ding Boche. Beautiful view. Five hours to hike to reach Ding Boche. Let's do this. Passing another suspension bridge. Yesterday was snowing, so I have to be careful that I do not slip, even though this bridge is not so slippery. Yak attack! Yak attack! You don't want to be attacked by these yaks. My god, look at these horns! Wow! The beautiful creatures they are! Still on my way to Dingboche. It's approximately five hours away from here. 
but to tell you the truth I don't mind that's that long look at this beautiful scenery Still on our way to Dingboche, but um, <clears throat> do not fall from here because I don't think you will come back on your own if you survive. No, I think you will survive this fall, yeah, but you will not be happy. Anyways, be careful where you place your feet. Now you know what kind of track to expect when you leave Tiang Boche to Ding Boche. Hello, Namaste. Namaste Sherpa baby, how are you? Are you good? <laughs> Playing with snow? I will leave, bye bye. Bye. So cute. Hiking in this beautiful landscape. It doesn't matter how long the hike will take because you're constantly enjoying the beautiful view. The mountains, the peak of the mountains that are covered by clouds. The view is still magnificent, but as I go higher, currently I'm 4,000 meter plus above sea level. As I can go higher, I can really feel the lack of oxygen in there. A simple walk, what you see, take me no effort. It really makes me feel tired. What I also noticed by the way, look at my snack. Do you see the air inside? I think it has to do with the altitude and the pressure that's basically at this altitude. <laughs> All my snacks are basically uh, yeah, uh, puffed with the air. <laughs> so I can just do like this. Yeah, <laughs> quite interesting. or Dingboche, such a beautiful location. We are above 4,000 meters above sea level. I bet it's going to be cold tonight. Beautiful warm room on the second floor. It really feels warm. I'm paying here for 150 rupiah per night, which is equivalent to one dollar and fifty cents. Couldn't ask for a better price. That's why I'm so happy I came in the low season. A beautiful morning, everyone. Just another day in Dingboche. I decided to stay here for two days. The reason for that is, is because currently I'm 4,000 meters above sea levels and I need to acclimatize. We have to go all the way up.
this track is so steep that's the summit it oh really puts your condition into the test it's so steep I really have to lean forward otherwise it's very easy for me to lose my balance and fall backwards I think I'm almost there so freaking steep all right here we go almost there just keep walking it's so cold here I can barely held hold the camera for a long period of time I have to put my gloves on back almost reaching the summit of this peak the track though is really slippery so much snow here All the way from my lodge. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's really windy here. To be careful, use my hands. You do not want to slip from here downwards with all these rocks. Let's move. We keep moving. the track I'll just follow the footstep I guess there you have it we have reached the peak of this place what a remarkable view beautiful view let me go to the real peak Thank you. So where's the real pick? I guess it's right here. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah, that's good. Beautiful summit. Incredible view. Took some pictures here, but it's because you don't want to lose balance here. Because if you fall, all you can do is enjoy the fall. That's it. <laughs> That's all way down. Still slippery, but we're okay. We're having fun here. Even now, it will be visible again. Yeah. Such an incredible, this Abu Dablab or Abu Amu Dablab, however you, Ahmad Dablam. It's just the clouds are covering and uncovering the peaks of each mountain in matters of few minutes. Whoa, these clouds are also approaching us, so we better slowly, but slowly go down shouldn't stay too long here quite an experience this <laughs> I can't see anything the clouds are basically approaching us okay time to stop recording and let's move towards the lodge now I cannot see anything incredible Downhill from the pick up there, 
it's really a challenge it's so windy and the track slippery so I have to be very careful where I place my feet I have to take the small baby steps <laughs> 